So, you want to know about the pretty simple pleasures timeline? Well, it's kind of complicated, but I'll try to keep it short. The very earliest point we know about is David's dad leaving him and his mom when he was a baby. The very earliest point we see is Lucy before she goes to preschool. When she does go to preschool, she is presented with a bowl by her mother to help her be brave in the face of everything. Lucy then finds Mike, and it really isn't clear what their first interaction is like. But what we do know is that she clings to him and won't play with anyone else. It's also about this time in Maraschino that Paulo was bullied by some high schoolers in the park, leading to his fear of barking. Paulo also had a run-in with a wasp which gave him nightmares, and his dad once took his last sugar pop. Also, just keep in mind that while all of this is going down, Abby is dealing with his abusive father, and Augustus is living in poverty with his neglectful parents. Okay, so, Mark and Lucy are split up for kindergarten, and Lucy spends the year alone since nobody wants to play with her. Finally, in first grade, the two are reunited and things resume as normal. That is until third grade, when Mike and Sandy meet. And, though we don't ever see this, Daisy says that she and Sandy used to be friends before then, and Daisy possibly had romantic feelings for her. And Mike ended up pulling all her attention away. Similarly, Sandy pulls all of Mike's attention away from Lucy, though she does try to include her. It's during third grade Lucy finds Yash's egg, as she eventually hatches. Sandy leaves Mike at the end of summer, and slowly he and Lucy become friends again. Presumably in fourth grade is when Abby catches his dad cheating on his mom, leading to him fatally assaulting her and getting arrested. Abby and Molly are adopted by Janet and Kevin. Also, also sometime during elementary school, Mike and Lucy talk about marriage. His Mike says it's legally required for 18-year-olds to get married. And Lucy asks Mike if he would marry her. Also during elementary school, Sam would come get Lucy and get Mike death glares. There is also an incident where Lucy's mom comes to get her from school and sees Mike and Lucy horsing around and Lucy trips and Mike goes to help her. At some point in fifth grade, Paulo's mom leaves him and his dad and Paulo moves to Roseville where he joins the others. He not only meets Daisy, but he also meets Mike and Lucy. Paulo and Lucy are starstruck by each other and are nervous to say anything to each other. During Mother's Day, Paul and David meet and become friends. Also during fifth grade, there is an incident where Molly is being bullied by a classmate and Abby bullies the kid back, but this upsets Molly. Also, during this period of time, Yashi finds Chirpy and later Mike finds Blur and Lily. Things get tricky here as I believe sixth grade is when the Augustus stuff happens. All this time he's lived in a neglectful household and is stealing from the local convenience store to eat. This catches the attention of Alejandro, who takes him under his wing and starts him on his path to criminal hood. Also, slowly Melanie and Augustus get closer. Sixth grade also sees Lucy get a bunch of unwanted attention from guys. When Polo starts sixth grade, he begins to try to be more confident so he can talk to Lucy. And Polo finally flirts with Lucy, which backfires on him. Augustus is in eighth grade at this point, and he dons his infamous cloak, and Melanie gives him an eyebrow piercing, as well as has sex with him, and they keep their relationship a secret. At some point, Point between 5th grade and 7th grade, Mike and Paul are racing the trees. Mike gets a tree to avoid a bird, and he falls into a nearby river and knocks his head on some rocks, leading to Mike nearly drowning, and Lucy going in to rescue him. This gives Lucy hydrophobia. In the winter of 7th grade, Mike confesses to Lucy that he likes her, and kisses her, but Lucy rejects him. It hurts Mike's feelings, but he accepts it and moves on. Now why do I place this here? Because the earliest point we see Mike wearing a scarf is in the spring of 7th grade. This means that the confession has to be right before this is won. He is complaining about the cold, and he is coping with Lucy rejecting his feelings by buying a blue scarf to match her eyes. It is also suggested to him by Lucy that he should get one to keep warm. After this, in spring of 7th grade, Mike, Lucy, and the rest of the class are introduced to the new school pool. Lucy passes out and nearly falls in, but Mike catches her at some point in either 6th or 7th grade. Mike and Lucy attend the dance together. This is the most recent event to happen when Simple Pleasures takes place, which is the summer between 7th and 8th grade. Things like Alejandro assault Melanie overseeing another guy and Tess being a menace to her school happen during the main group's 8th grade year. And that's the entire pre-Simple Pleasures timeline.